Have you been looking for the best graphic settings for iRacing? Well, I have a video for you. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing as I try to post new racing content weekly. And while you're down there, if you can add a like, it just helps the algorithm and helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitch, there's a link down in the description. I usually stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays and sometimes on the weekends. In this video, we're going to be talking about iRacing graphic settings. I wanted to do something different because it dawned on me when a friend of mine came over who is a fellow uh, iRacer and he got on my rig and he noticed how clear and how the frames per second were so much more crispier, I guess, and it, it kind of helped him. So I thought it would be helpful to maybe just put my graphic settings out there and maybe this will help you. I've had people comment on my stream and tell me that they're amazed that I'm able to have such high quality frames per second. And also the video still looks really good even through a stream. So yeah, um, and I also wanted to note that this is not just for triple screens because I'm running 1440 um, 32s and I'm running a 4070 Ti. This is also for if you're running uh, an ultra wide. So I guess it doesn't really like hinder too much and I'm able to get between 80 to 180 frames per second, depending on the track and how many cars are on track and if it's raining. Sometimes like tracks like Magello, I end up only getting like uh, 70, 65, and that's with like 40, 50 cars on track. But uh, yeah, hopefully this will help you and let's hop over to the rig so I can show you all my graphic settings. Okay, so now that we're in the rig, I want to show you how I set up my graphic settings. And first I wanted to say I use two ways of doing it. Mainly I use IR Sidekick. IR Sidekick is uh, an application that I use because I run triples. So let's get into it. So if you notice on mine, it's it's got triple curves and IR sidekick. Um, I am also like just putting all my bezel information. This is all information that you don't really need. Uh, my viewing distance and how my field of view. So their math is saying that I should be 174, but I don't I don't like 174. I, I do it at 148 and then I make adjustments in iRacing. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, you can go over here to this graphics tab. Um, and this is all my, my settings. If you want to make sure uh, that you get pretty much the same settings as me, um, take a screenshot right now and then try them out for yourself. Hopefully they end up do working. Um, you'll see right here, I have for the sky and clouds, I have medium detail, cars, high detail, pit objects, medium detail, the event, high detail, the grandstands at low detail. Uh, crowds off. I don't know why some people want crowds. I don't want crowds just because it's taking up a lot of information that I need. Uh, objects are high detail because you definitely want to have a, a lot of those details like when you're in the pits and stuff like that. Uh, foliage, uh, turn it off. Particles are at medium detail and then it's at full res. Uh, draw cars. This is debatable. I personally like to have uh, 59 cars because I noticed that race labs, when I'm running uh, all the cars, it's helpful because it will show me every car that's in there. So that's again, debatable. You don't have to necessarily put that many, but I just have that many. Uh, my frame rate, my limit is 190. I know that's a lot. Um, sometimes I hit it. Sometimes I don't. Again, it's all track dependent on where I am. Um, all of this, I think is all basic stuff like 16 X, two X, uh, shadow details, object self shadowing, night shadow maps, uh, number of lights, three, I think that's all pretty standard. Uh, cockpit halo, I, I when I run uh, open wheel cars, I just have it at a cockpit halo. And the best thing about IR Sidekick, if you don't uh, know what it is, it pretty much saves your INI &I file. So if anything were to happen in iRacing or if you have to delete the program, at least you won't have to do this uh, profile for triples because having to set up triples can kind of be a headache. And so at least it saves it automatically and then I could just export it here if I really wanted to for the next one. Two pass trees. I, 
I don't know why a lot of people have the tree like high detail and all the trees on. Like I don't really care to see all of the greenage and it's just taking up information that you could be using for your frames per second. Cockpit mirrors I do too because um, I do a virtual mirror. As you can see here, I have it at, at medium. Sharpening is off, HDR is on, heat haze is off, uh, far terrain tone mapping so yeah you can see all the settings here i don't do too much i just try to keep it as minimal as possible but i want it looking good but i also want a high refresh rate because i feel like that's better on your eyes when you're actually racing so those are the reasons why i went to a lot of these settings and i've been playing around with it for like past couple months since i got the triples and then i will go over to iRacing racing right now and I will show you my graphic settings in there if you don't have IR Sidekick, even though it's all the same information, but let's switch over to that. Okay, now that we're in iRacing, let's go over to a test drive and so I can show you all the graphical settings. All right, so we're in here. Let's go to options. Let's go to graphics. And here they are again. Um, so yeah, because I'm running triples, it's 7680 by 1440p. And here is how I have mine set up. So I want the best quality and also I want the highest frame rate. So I went with the sky clouds at medium, cars at high detail, pit objects, medium detail, event, high detail, grandstands, low detail, crowds off. I don't know why people have crowds on, but some people want to have that atmosphere. I personally don't care too much for it. But again, that's what I was uh, talking about in the last one. Uh, objects of high detail, foliage off, medium detail. Yeah, so everything that you see right here is all how I had it set up in IR Sidekick. So it's pretty much all the same. Not much has changed. Um, yeah, take a screenshot, uh, try these out for yourself. Uh, make sure that you you write down your details on what you have currently because maybe this might not work for you. But uh, it, you know, give it a shot and let me know. That's all I have for this video. Uh, hopefully this will help you and make you uh, a, a more efficient driver just because it will give you better clarity and you'll have better frames per second. Hopefully these settings will do that for you. Uh, I know that it's helped me, especially since I've swapped from uh, 49 inch ultra wide to triples. It's helped me see more vision and and also I also upgraded my uh, graphics card, which is really important and it doesn't run too hot and I'm able to stream and race at the same time. Um, if you like videos like this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe. I'm always trying to post up videos like this. And if you have any comments or questions, make sure that you go down to the comment section and just leave something below. Uh, maybe I might have answered it if someone already answered, uh, asked it. But uh, I'm always here to help and try to give out any information. But uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.